Well, this weather map hasn't changed much. This is what we had during the day today. Very similar conditions. 80s in the Yakima Valley through Pendleton down to the Treasure Valley and even to the Magic Valley. 80 in Twin Falls. It's been warming here and warming in eastern portions of Idaho, but that's going to start to change a little bit. No huge change. Seattle a little on the cool side with an onshore breeze there. Uh, it looks like we're going to see the potential for a major change to what we're seeing here, but not likely through the weekend. I think through the weekend, a slight change could come in Friday night, Saturday as a little wave of energy tries to come by, bringing just a couple of clouds. But next week, a bigger change coming in. High pressure is warm weather that's over us. The jet stream starts to back in as another wave of cool air shoots down towards the east coast. And then you see some of it pushing into eastern Idaho and Wyoming. This is Friday. That's what could bring a, a couple of clouds. I just don't think the sky is going to change all that much. High pressure, warmer weather now for western Idaho, Washington and Oregon for Friday, likely Saturday and Sunday as well. Now I want to show you the bigger picture, okay? This is, uh, the colors here are the temperatures of the air mass. And the brighter reds and oranges, that's the warmer weather. And then as you get to the yellow, it starts to cool in here. And then the, the blue, that's some real chilly air. So the jet stream separates the cool air to the north. You see it moving right here. That's the, the, uh, the polar jet stream. So the cold air is locked into the north. Some waves sometimes will shoot towards the U.S. And this one's going to go into the northeast. Every once in a while, some cool air pops down from the north and it gets cut off like a, this is, like, this is a river of air, but this is like a little eddy, a little L eddy that has cool weather sitting over the Pacific. Watch what happens now as we go into motion here. We see this wave pushing down towards the east coast, bringing cooler weather. And then look at this one developing here over the Gulf of Alaska. This one's going to start to dive in our direction, and the computer chart's going to show this breaking away and going right across Idaho as it moves on in. Notice also the moisture that's coming from this low pressure. See it right here, this green is going to get wrapped up into that storm. So now we have a cool storm that has some moisture, I believe. And as it tracks down through western Canada, look at this, it's going to park itself or at least move right across Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Two of the major computer charts are now showing a very similar scenario. In the middle of this pool of cool air, it will be chilly. And we're talking about a potential for some snow as early as Wednesday morning, dusting the ground in the McCall area at 5,000 feet. So this is the type of weather with a more appreciable snow in some of the higher elevations. So this is Tuesday. That's when we really see the cool air coming in. The green is moisture. I'm going to push this ahead to Sunday and watch what happens. It sits and spins to the south, but its influence is still affecting Idaho much of the time while the warm air is pushed to the west. If this develops, a much cooler weather pattern will move on in. And precipitation-wise, on this map, a half inch or more is at least green, and it shows the moisture targeting uh, the Boise Mountains and the Treasure Valley. It's going to be a difficult forecast to really pinpoint it because it could move to the west and if it moves to the west we won't have that but in the meantime it's going to be beautiful sunshine gorgeous conditions in the McCall area again and our forecast coming up for tomorrow shows just like today about 82 degrees sunny warm light wind continues for the west central mountains we'll see temperatures of about 40 to 45 in the morning with highs in the mid 70s again in the afternoon and more of the same in the Sun Valley area with all that sunshine 70 to 76. Extended forecast now you see the 80s right here let's go into Saturday now Boise State football game, 7.45 p.m. kickoff. Still looks like 70s, mid-60s at halftime, 62 going home, a couple of clouds. I think it's going to be pretty nice. But look at the change here. 65 Tuesday, 63 Wednesday. If that pool of cool air comes right over us, this could drop into the 50s in the Treasure Valley. So a big change likely during the middle part of next week.